You cannot separate the Native American from the landscape. It is in his blood and it is his spirit. So of course, over a period of 30,000 years, he's become a, what I like to call a multiple use conservationist. It is in the interest of his spirit to protect wildlife, the forests and the rivers. This little blue speck that we all live on is finite. The sky, the sun, all of these things are so important. Uh, to our survival and our thriving as a species. You know, we call the Indian ways more primitive, <laughs> but if we look at them uh, in today, that's, that same so-called primitive quality of, of uh, feeling one with the earth and the sky and the sun and realizing that we're all part of this, part of mother nature, we've got to listen to that and not be so ego driven. And those are all things that really would behoove us today. I think there's more education that's needed about the value of the, the only planet we have. Are we really taking care of this planet? Are we taking care of this earth? Or are we developing it to death? I don't really see Scott's work as political, but certainly his insights have political implications.